Hi, I'm Abraham Heschel. Beauty, which is acquired at the cost of justice, is an abomination and should be rejected for its loathsomeness. All values are esteemed only to the extent that they are worthy in the sight of God, for only through the divine light is their light seen. The criterion by which we judge beauty is integrity. The criterion by which we judge integrity is truth. And truth is the correspondence of the finite to the infinite, the specific to the general, the cosmos to God. All things carry a surplus of meaning over being. They mean more than what they are in themselves. Even finite facts stand for infinite meaning. It is as if all things were vibrant with spiritual meaning. And all we try to do in creative art and in good deeds is to intone the secret strain, an aspect of that meaning. Deep in our hearts there is a perpetual temptation to worship the imposing, to make an idol of things dear to us. It is easy to adore the illustrious. It is easy to appreciate beauty and hard to see through the masquerade of the ostentatious. The fact is that we do not turn to art in order to gratify, but in order to foster interests and feelings. A work of art introduces us to emotions which we have never cherished before. It is boring unless we are surprised by it. Great works produce rather than satisfy needs by giving the world fresh cravings. By expressing things we were not even aware of, works of art inspire new ends, unanticipated visions. To understand religion through the analysis of the sentiments it instills is to miss its essence. It is as if we were to apprehend a work of art by describing our impression of it rather than by grasping its intrinsic value. The inner value of a work of art subsists regardless of our responsiveness to it. The essence of a work of art is neither tantamount to nor commensurable with the impression it produces with what it reflected in the enjoyment of art. The stratum of inner experience and the realm of objective reality do not lie on the same level.